Hey everyone, so I'm starting off another weekly haul and I'm not really sure what number this is. I stopped keeping count, but I have these three packages to open today. Uh, they've just been sitting here. I was waiting to unbox them with a few other packages, but those packages won't be coming anytime soon. And I thought I knew what was in the envelope, but I realized that the person that I traded with that was also like lives in Indonesia, she sent it out like a few days ago, so there's no way that it came now. So I'm curious to see as what this is. I think I know what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the biggest. I typically don't start with the biggest, but the reason why I am starting with this package is because I actually already unboxed it on a live stream um, just because I wanted people's opinions. And I was gonna pretend to unbox it, but I'll just be honest with you guys. Um, but basically, this is is my Park Bomb fan sign album that came from Idols Fashion and this literally took forever to come. I think I got it either back in March or April and they literally took three months to ship it out. I just don't understand why something takes three months to ship out. Like don't you just get tired of it sitting in your room just staring at you? Like I don't get it. Like I would just hate feeling obligated to send something for three months. Not only did they wait three months to send it, let me backtrack a little bit. So uh, I think I've shared the full story of this on a Q&A video, but uh, basically this fancy slot was like $200 and Idol's Fashion pretty much has a bad rep, but I didn't know this when I purchased my fan sign. And so what had happened was they went to the fan sign, so I bought it, and I swear that they said that it was gonna be EMS. Like I swear that they said EMS was like the shipping method and the uh, item description, but they delete the item right after you buy it. So like that is already super sus, like f red flag number one. And then, so they went to the fan sign and forgot to get her to sign my name. I'll throw a picture of the message up here. And I was like, well, the whole point of a fan sign slot is so that they write my name. Like, can I get a partial refund? And then they were like, okay, well, we'll get her to sign at the next fan sign. Honestly, I don't know how possible that is now that I'm more knowledgeable about fan signs because I'm not sure about Park Bomb specifically, but I know some groups, the managers, check the album to make sure that it's 100% clean like it's a new album. I'm not sure about Park Bomb since she is like, I guess, a newer solo artist, but I don't know, like that just doesn't seem like a possibility to me now that I think about it. But back then I was like, oh, okay, perfect, like whatever, go ahead. So I'll just stop rambling and show you guys. So this is the fan sign and I, I don't know, like part of me believes that this signature is authentic maybe, but definitely not this. Like I know for a fact that this is so fake. First of all, you can barely see it, but I don't know, it just looks suspicious to begin with. So basically, I, I don't know if the sticky note is real or not, but I think the question was, what is your favorite? And the answer choices were between corn, watermelon, bread, and me. And uh, basically, if this is actually signed by Park Bomb, she didn't choose me, so she broke my heart. Um, and then I asked her what her favorite 21 B-side was, and I'm not really sure what this is. I've posted about it, and people haven't really given me an answer either. So, okay, so basically, my conclusion is that they fake her signing my name or whatever so that they wouldn't have to give me a refund. And I do have an active, like, case on PayPal right now, so before you guys tell me to open that case, I already did. But not only did they scam my ass, but they didn't even have the decency to include a photo card. Like, really? You guys couldn't at least include a photo card. So I went through someone else who got me a Park Bomb fan sign who like provided proof and everything of them going so I know it is a hundred percent authentic and so this is how she wrote my name in this album and this is how she wrote my name over here like those are just two completely different handwritings and it doesn't even make sense. Idols Fashion 0 out of 10 wouldn't recommend them don't go through them on Twitter Okay, so keeping up with the 21 streak, uh, this is going to be a pin package, and I know that because of the return address. Uh, thank you so much for pre-ordering. I hope you enjoy your new goodies. Okay. I don't know why... Oh, okay. 
So she gave me this really cute button, which is essentially the pin design on a button. And then what I actually got was this 21 pin, and it is so, let me focus it. It is really freaking gorgeous. The light isn't like catching it right, but as you guys can see, it is a pin from the most iconic shot in 21's career, and it doesn't zoom in anymore. I already tried. But there is the pin, it is drop dead gorgeous. And then, last but not least, okay, yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. And it is so freaking pretty. So, um, there's this Twitter account that makes uh, fan-made lenticulars. But I bought these and they were super cheap. I think they were like $3 a piece. I don't know why it looks so dark on camera, but I promise you it doesn't look like that in person. It looks a lot more vivid or <laughs> whatever. This is one for RBB. But yeah, this is the back of the card that I already showed you guys. And then here is the Summer Magic one. This one is really pretty as well. This is what it looks like on the back. Anyways, this was everything that I got. This was like really long because I was ranking the whole time, but on to the next clip. Hey everyone, so I'm here to open these packages. If I sound really tired, I look he just woke up from a nap. These should be my two Kino photo cards. I ended up trading both my Solgi and Wendy. Obviously, joy is a given, but who I traded my Solgi for, you guys are gonna find out, but if you guys missed that, I will card that somewhere up here. I'll be straight up with you guys and tell you that I already opened this, um, just because I wanted to make sure that the card was in here, just so I could let the person know that I got the card. So, it says, hi, thank you for trading with me. I hope Irene arrives safely. Breathe so. Oh, she already said <laughs> who it was, but... Oh my god, I got Irene's card, and typically I don't really mind keeping, like, if I had traded one of my members for Joy, I typically would have just kept the other one, but I think Irene's photo card this time around is way too cute to pass up, so I desperately wanted this card. Oh my god, it is so pretty, I absolutely adore this photo card. And then next, this one was from Twitter. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, she wrote my name so pretty! Oh my god, what is both of this stuff? Okay. Oh my god, what the hell? So she gave me these Joy freebies. Oh my god, love this. Oh my god, they're so... Oh my god, Irene looks so good. Oh my god, literally, Joy's Reen. Ooh, she gave me some. She gave me some poor... Pretty. Ah, uh, yay! Oh my god, why is everyone's handwriting so freaking pretty? Dear Randy, thank you so much for this trade. I hope Joy got to you safely. Well, this is actually my first ever trade, so I hope this trade goes well. Still waiting for that mukbang live. Oh my god, people have been begging me to do a mukbang. I've just been taking forever. And here is the photo card. Guys, I need to step it up because these trades are so freaking cute. I need to start sending them in envelopes and stuff. The only thing I hate is that I hate my handwriting. It is so ugly. Uh, here it is. Let's see. Yay, I finally have this card. I will not lie to you guys. Not one of my favorite cards because I despise Joy in her braids. So this was everything that I got. Hey everyone, so honestly, I haven't done an unboxing in quite a while. I think it's been a week or so since I've gotten my last package. So this actually came super quick. But anyways, so I got this pen from, um, Oh, okay, it doesn't say the shop name on it, but oh my god, this photo of Yoongi is really freaking cute. So what I ended up getting was this really gorgeous Joy pin. As you guys can see, the username is down here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is basically what it looks like. I love the hanging stars of the dangly stars. They are so freaking pretty. And then next up, I have this package, and this is a trade, and funny story is that I actually opened this because I couldn't wait to open it, and very fortunately, I opened it when I got it because this was the first time that I've ever done this, and it was just human error, honestly, but 
I forgot to send my part of a trade out and I let them know so like when I got this package I was so shocked because uh, basically the we agreed on a day to send out and then they ended up sending out earlier which caught me off guard and I was like oh, okay like I'll send out the next day and then I totally forgot about the trade and was very shocked when this package came because I was like oh like I never sent out the trade. I let them know and everything. I felt really freaking bad. I was really, really apologetic about it. It's still a miracle on how I found a trade for the group card. But yay, now I have Irene. I've been trading a lot for Irene cards. Um, if you guys haven't been able to tell. Hey everyone, so this is a package from Store Lick, Store Elic. Really excited for this package because I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Oh my god, that was literally the only time that I've ever made a perfect cut across. Ah, I'm so nervous. I don't want it to be over. Okay, hopefully everything is in focus. I think it is, but... So I have a number of things to unbox here, and I guess I'll just start with, like, the most random thing of them all. So I got this really cute Steve... Steve Rogers, whatever chibi pin and I just think like the chibi stuff with bearded Chris Evans is so freaking cute so I couldn't resist getting this the next thing that I got was this and these are the Joy Espoir photo cards okay so there's these three boxes I believe that these are the hand mirrors so let's see Oh my god, they are the mirrors. How freaking cute. Where am I? Hi guys. <laughs> oh my god, that is so freaking cute. I believe these are the photo cards. I'm not sure if this is going to be all six or if it's just going to be three of them. Yay! Okay, so um, I'm going to like put them against the white background so you can see them better. But there is two of each. So there is these two. And then... There's this one, and then, last but not least, there's this one. So thank god I was able to get these cards because they were so annoying to get. Finally, I have all of the Espoir photo cards, and also, these are the lipsticks, which I will... You know what? They're like not even worth unboxing, so I won't unbox them. But basically, I'm not going to do anything with these lipsticks. I personally am going to give away my lipsticks um, in a future giveaway, and then I'll give Maria's to her, so yeah. Next is the most random ass good of them all, and if you guys don't know, basically SM released the, um, like the happy random box or whatever, which the only reason why I got this was because I was scared that it was going to be the same situation with Smilebox and there was going to be photo cards that were going to be impossible to find later on. But that's the only reason why I got this, but I saw the contents of the box, nothing very impressive I guess. It's all just old merch that they're trying to get rid of, which I basically knew that it was going to be because that was the same idea with Smilebox, but damn they couldn't have at least thrown in a photo card or something when I opened this. Oh my god, I don't have high hopes for this at all. Look, all of this stuff, this big ass box, and this, of like, two items. What a rip off. <laughs> okay, so there is like a random member. Oh my god, I got Joy's pin. It was meant to be. My baby loves me. People have just been getting random pins from various eras. I would have loved a peekaboo pin, obviously. I would have loved an ice cream cake pin too. But the velvet she'll do or whatever she's cute whatever you know and then there is the artist tape which i'm not even sure what this is so as you guys can see it's just a bunch of recycled merch that sm needed to get rid of let's see let's find out what this is oh it's just another mirror damn i am getting hella mirrors today um, honestly, like, the box that I saw on Twitter was a lot more impressive than this one. I swear that there was more items in that box than there is this one, but, oh well, what can I do? Bad boy clips, whatever the hell this is. Oh, so there's, like, the shoe. These are so ugly. These are just, it's very obviously just merch that someone's trying to get rid of. So there's the shoe. Wow, revolutionary. Wow. R. 
the last thing in here is this lanyard, which is very cute. It has their debut date right here. So this was everything that I got. Fingers crossed that the clip is in focus, but onto the next clip. Hey everyone, so I'm really excited because honestly, like ever since I got back into K-pop, I haven't bought another group's album just because I'm really scared that it's gonna spiral into me wanting absolutely every single group's album. But as you guys know, Itzy came back and I am super into Itzy. I am still debating on whether or not I want to collect Yeji, so I guess this package will determine whether or not because I don't know if I'll just keep my pulls or if I'm going to actively collect her. But yeah, I got this from Choice Music, as you guys can see. I went with Choice Music this time because Music Plaza last time took way too long to send out my Kinos, so I went with Choice and got here fairly quick, so I'm going to get right into it. This box looks like pretty small. I wasn't sure how the albums fit in here, but I guess choice to, oh my God, my address is right there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna slip out the invoice. Okay, so here are the albums. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So they gave me this choice gang sticker as they usually do. I would have ordered this through K-pop or K Town for you, but I didn't care enough to get EMS. But the reason why I pre-ordered the album was because I honestly was gonna wait to see the contents and then pre-order it. Or not pre-order it, but order it after it came out. But they did the pre-order benefits and they were too good to pass up. So here I am and I am gonna Oh, it looks like they left me a note. These special gifts that we have provided are meant to be gifts, not to be resold. Just a PSA for everyone who tries to resell everything. Okay, anyways, I love that they included this note. Oh my god, the freebies are so cute! So they gave me these two random cards, I guess. So I got Yuna and Cherryong. Honestly, I would have loved, obviously, Yeji, but Yuna has been killing it this era, and so has Cherryong, so I am not complaining. I did get Yeji's postcard though. She looks really freaking pretty. And Ryujin's other postcard. The only member I didn't get was um, Leah. I didn't get anything Leah. But, okay, I'm going to get into, should I do the pre-order benefits first? I'll do the pre-order benefits. So, I'm nervous because the Itzy Dollar Dollar booklets have random Polaroids. And as you guys know, Yeji is my bias, so I did find her Polaroid for a really good deal on Instagram and just bought it because I didn't want to have to deal with it. So if I do get Yeji, great. If I don't, that's great as well. I probably will just keep my pulls, honestly, because all the Polaroids, like you cannot go wrong with any of them. They're so pretty. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so these are the stickers that they gave us. And then here is the postcard set. You guys have probably seen a million and one boxings of this, but I'll, I'll show you guys anyway. So there's this one. They look really pretty. Oh my god, we stand. Oh my god. And this is what the backs look like. They all look the same. And then the booklet. I'm so nervous. Okay, let me just, I won't do a flip through of this because you guys have probably seen it already. Personally, oh my god, I'm so nervous, where's the card? You know what would be so sad? If it didn't come with the card. You're lying. <laughs> oh, okay, it's right there. I was like, I lifted it up and no card came out and I was like, what the hell? Oh my god, Ryujin's card. Her card is really freaking pretty. I guess, I guess she's in focus. Yeah, she's in focus, but yeah, that is really pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna do the icy version. So, here is the stickers. Oh, the stickers is the same, so. I'm not sure if they have two different, oh no, they're like slightly different. Just very slightly different, but I just wish they used completely different photos, but I guess they will do. And here's the postcards. Oh my God, I love this concept so much. Like I love this photo shoot a lot more than the its version. So I was, I took a chance when I originally pre-ordered these cause I got the I icy version and I was like, this has to be the icy concept. Does this not scream icy? And I really hope that I don't get a duplicate of the card, so 
I don't know, I have a feeling that I will. Oh my god, I got Leah! Oh my god, her Polaroid is actually really freaking cute. Yeah, there is that. And honestly, good thing I bought Yeji's Polaroid because I know I didn't pull it. But yeah, I'm actually pretty overall pleased with my pulls so far. Okay, so these are both my versions, and I think I'm gonna do Icy first. Okay, so hopefully the photo cards aren't like right. In oh my god, I forgot there's a member page. I think it's, I think it's Cheryong because I can see her green shirt. Oh my god, yay! She's so freaking cute. I can't believe netizens were hating on her for her looks. You guys really don't deserve this beauty. They don't. Here is the CD plate. The CD plate is really pretty. As like I said, I. Oh my god, did you guys see the pools, <laughs> bro? I. I think I have, I don't know, is it too soon to call a cherry on curse? But these are the two photo cards. But um, yeah, I think that's it. You only get like two cards per album, right? JYP loves to include a million and one photo cards with their albums, with their groups. So this is why I'm hesitant about collecting Etsy, but. Okay, now on to the icy version. I'm nervous. Who is the first page gonna be? Ryujin. Okay, so what we're finding out is that Yeji hates me. Here's the CD plate. It is so freaking pretty. We're just gonna pull the photo cards. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. Yeji loves me. <laughs> okay, so there is this card. And then there is this one. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with the photo cards. Like, they're all really freaking gorgeous. There's these. I wish that they did signature backs, though. I just hate that they have this logo. Okay, so this is as good as my setup is gonna get. But I can't believe that this much stuff came in the albums or, like, the pre-order benefits. This makes SM albums feel really underwhelming. But, yeah, this was everything that I got. Hey, everyone. So, I am so excited for this big box but first I'm going to open this okay I <laughs> I'm struggling to open this because I don't want to accidentally cut the paper okay so I think this is the invoice so I won't show you guys that but oh my god they're so freaking cute so what I ended up getting was I got some light stick decals and they are from this shop called Bon Bon, let's see. I'll show you guys their card from, I think it was a Bon Bon Chocola. But uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll put some on the screen. It's very fun on Etsy. So I've been wanting to deck out my light stick for a hot minute, but I just like haven't really seen any decals. So I got a bunch of these, so. So there's this one. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I just cannot get over it. Let's see if. I'm like really bad at showing off the holographic, but this one, they're all obviously joy. This one is like the prettiest one. I think this one's gonna go on my light stick. And then I, I like, I just couldn't choose which design I wanted and like in what print or in what material, I guess. So I got like multiples of the design in different colors. So there's this one. And then there's <laughs> this one, the same design. It's because I wanted to get it in person and then judge in person which one I wanted to put. And then I don't think I ordered this. I believe this is like a freebie one. And this one is a freebie one, I think, as well. Oh my god, a bunch of freebies. But yeah, there's also a heart one, which I'm not sure where that is. Somewhere in here. Yeah, this one that she gave me. But yeah, this was... Oh my god, this one is so freaking pretty! Me showing these was a mess, but yeah, let me move on. So now we have this package from Great Music. Um, oh my god! But, so, let me just get everything out. <laughs> I'm not ready. Great Music C always comes through with the packaging. Okay, so these are the Red Velvet 5th Anniversary Fan Meet Goods. And let me just say that getting these was a nightmare. So they never did any official online sales for these. So like basically you had to be at the event to get these. 
and I it was a mess like I was trying to commission someone to go to the event for me and get stuff for me that didn't work out I found a post on Bunchong where somebody said that they could buy goods because they were already in line but by the time I had messaged them a lot of the goods were sold out and then thankfully great music CD got them great music CD listed them a few days after so I was iffy about whether or not they got them basically they listed them and it was a nightmare because first they had listed them and they completely sold out like everything sold out and then they listed them again and after the first like time that they sold out I didn't get them so I was constantly refreshing the page because I knew great music CD had to have more so I was constantly refreshing and then it popped up and it was there but they were super overpriced so obviously the first thing that we have is the lenticular fan oh my god tell me that is not the most gorgeous thing ever I think that I it's gonna break my heart to do this because I don't want to open it I should have gotten two but I didn't just because like my heart total was already insane but I think I'm gonna take off the stick and make this the new cover of my binder um, I'm saving the photo sets for last because those are like the prettiest then I got this sticker and I don't even know what would fit in here like what can I hold in here but okay so it came with two stickers it came with this one I don't know why it's kind of showing up purpley on camera but I promise it doesn't look like that in person and then there is this Revelove sticker um, I'm gonna do the mini posters because I want to save the photo sets for last but these are the mini posters But there is Wendy, Irene, oh my god, so stunning. Here's Sulky, Joy, my fucking bitch. She looks so good. And then Yeti. They smell so good too. They smell like so fresh. <laughs> No, when you guys get like a new K-pop poster in the mail and it smells so good, like this is exactly what it smells like. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the photo set. So they actually have three and they say like which ones they are right here. So I did get all three photo sets. It's kind of damaged right here. I'm really hoping that she's good or whatever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this one first. Just to check up on her, you know, see how she's doing. They were really pushing Wendy during these goods because she is the front for all of these, but there's this photo. I'm guessing it's in the same order. Oh my god, Joy and Angel. So here is B. Wendy, a visual queen we stan. Oh my god, this is like probably my favorite photo set out of all of them. Oh my god. Like she did not need to pop off like that. She did not. Oh my god. And then we have set A. There's this photo. This is basically like the far away versions. Sulgi, she looks so good in this. Like, honestly, I don't know anyone who could work this yellow outfit like her. Oh my god, this photo of Yeti is so stunning. Okay, this is a mess, but I believe my next unboxing will be the Zimzala Bim Goods, and that's how I will conclude my unboxing. So, on to the next package. Hey everyone, so this is going to be my last unboxing, and I'm actually very shocked that this many things came in today. I don't think I've had this many things to open in a hot minute, but I'm gonna get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this, and... Yeah, so this is what the pin looks like. Let me see if I can zoom in more. Yeah, isn't it so freaking cute? I love soft enamel pins so much. Like, I don't understand why people don't like them, but I personally love As If It's Your Last. Like, I think it's one of their, maybe not their best song, but like a close second for me. Whenever I tell people that, they're always like, what? You think As If It's Your Last is like top three or whatever and I'm like yes so this was a really iconic scene from the music video this was the ending pose okay next is this package from eBay and I'm really surprised that this came this quick because uh, basically they sent it without tracking or anything I just assumed that it was gonna take a month because that's what they made it sound like I bought this on a live stream on a whim honestly and if anyone who knows me anyone who's been watching my lives knows that I guess I've always had an obsession with him but I've just been more 
outward about it, I guess. Oh my freaking god, the freaking cutest photo card ever, tell me not. He is so squishy, that's what we love about Wanho is the duality jumped. So I got this for like $7 or whatever, and before you guys ask, no, I don't plan on collecting Wanho, but I do want a photo card behind my phone. You know, stereotypical K-pop fan things, tings, you know, and all the cards in this set are so cute that I was having so much trouble, but I decided this one because Wanho is a gentle giant. We stan. Next is a trade. Ooh. Okay, so I got this Irene freebie. And then, so, hey Randy, I'm so excited to trade with you. I'm such a big fan of yours. Anyways, I hope Yeji arrived to you nice and safe. That is so sweet. So, um, we traded for my, I don't remember, I think it was my Cherry Young photo card. Um, I'm still deciding if I want to full on collect Yeji. I guess I am now because I started trading for all her cards. But yeah, there is this one. Next is another trade. So there's a thank you card. Thank you so much for trading with me. I hope Yeji reached you quickly and safely. P.S. I love your videos. Oh my god, everyone is so sweet. I have like one more trade coming in and then I just need one more of her cards because I pulled one and then I traded three of my other cards. So I'm waiting on my Itzy group order to get that card hopefully. Let's see. Yay, so. Here is the card. This is probably one of my favorite cards. I wish they did her hair more like this for the promotions instead of the braids. I just think this hairstyle is so much cuter. Next, you guys know I always save the biggest for last. And this is another package from Great Music CD. So, I got a bunch of Zimzella Bim goods. And I'm so excited, let's see. So I got the, obviously the A4 photo, which is gorgeous. We have Esteban Joy, serving looks. She outsold Esteban Julio, Ricardo Montoya, whatever. And then we have the postcard book, the four by six photos, and then the hologram set. So the Air Force photo is pretty self-explanatory. It's really freaking gorgeous, so I'll put that off to the side. Next, we'll do the four by six photos. And Great Music CD does sell these individually, but it is just so much cheaper to get this set than get them individually from him. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Everything that isn't Joy will be up for sale, so message me on Instagram if you're interested. Here is the group one. I'm so glad that they used these photos because these photos were gorgeous. I love Irene in this hat. Like, this look is so iconic. And the fact that they didn't really, like, exploit this look more or, like, take advantage of this look just was really disappointing. Sogi and her pigtails. Wendy. Joy, love this so much. These are the braids that we deserve, not those freaking other ones. Then there's Yeti. So there's the photo set. Next is the hologram set. I've gone over this. I absolutely hate the hair for this. So here is the standee. And honestly, if she didn't have the braids, this would be a really gorgeous picture. And then here's the photo card. First of all, they did her so dirty in this. Because why is there just this piece of hair sticking out the top of her head? Out here looking like Tweety Bird, she didn't deserve this. Yeah, whoever photoshopped this, SM needs to fire them because this is not what's up. Last but not least, we have the postcard set. And the same thing goes for the 4x6 photos. Everything that isn't Joy will be up for sale. I'm scared I won't be able to rip these out because they're like, it's like a book. So hopefully I won't have too much trouble ripping them out. But here they are. And they're thick, just like the Red Room postcards. There is the group one, Irene, Sulky. 
Wendy. Joy, love this photo of hers so much. Yeti. And then we have another group one. Um, what's in between this? Irene. Oh my god, love, love, love this so much. I was so tempted to get Irene's hologram because her standee is with this outfit. And it is so cute. Sulgi. Wendy. Joy. This was a photo I think that they put in the album, like the photo book. And then Yeti. That is the end. So this was everything that I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just so like I can make a disclaimer, I've only called this weekly haul because I've committed to the weekly haul series, but this was over the course of the month. Thank you guys so much for 2K. Just the fact that this many people watch is insane to me. It will still always blow my mind that like even 10 people watch my videos. So thank you guys so much for that and peace out.